And again, we're getting some spectacular views here. You can see some more uh, housing structure. Look like you got some masts that are bent over. You can see the cargo hold here. I mean, really uh, a snapshot time, almost like something you think you'd see in a movie, but this is real life. We're looking at a World War II victim here, perfectly preserved on the seafloor. You can really look at this and have a clear idea of what this vessel was, how it was constructed, and what kind of materials it was carrying. It's just remarkable. And the Bluefield was in convoy, going from Norfolk down to Key West. It was with 19 other merchant ships and tankers. It was attacked by the U-boat, the U-576. And we're talking a giant chunk of the hull here that got ripped through when that torpedo hit. You can see how the hull is actually peeled back. Imagine not only the explosion, but then the onrush of water now as this vessel went down very, very quickly. And thank goodness all crew members got off safely. At the time, this is a state-of-the-art weapon. It was really ferocious. It, uh, it was the only thing that Churchill was ever uh, really afraid of. And you can see why. It was a technological marvel, the start of the war, and it struck terror in the hearts of, of sailors. 90 vessels were lost during World War II in total off, just off North Carolina. 78 of those were merchant vessel losses due to U-boats. The U-576 was damaged a few days earlier. Part of its buoyancy system uh, was damaged. Uh, it was actually on its way back to Europe so it could undergo repairs. And then opportunistically, it came across convoy KS-520. It moves into attack, uh, shoots a four torpedo spread. Two of the torpedoes hit uh, two other vessels, causing damage and fires, but they're saved. The third torpedo goes a ride, doesn't hit anything. The fourth one hits the blue field. Because those uh, torpedoes have so much weight to them and mass, when they're released, the U-boat wasn't able to compensate and it literally pops up into the middle of the convoy and everybody opens up on them. Within scant minutes, the U-5 and the 7-6 is also sent to the bottom. What we have here truly is the only naval battlefield in U.S. waters. We have the aggressor and the victim side by side on the seafloor, literally only a football field apart. <laughs>